Pichu does do pretty well versus Joker. Joker can suffer versus, uh, I know most Joker players think that the both the rats beat Joker. So we might see Ice Climber. Pichu. What? I was going to say Pokemon Trainer from Wishes, but... Ice Climbers was not in Whoa. the script. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. What the? <laughs> okay. I'm so This is a button right check. Now. Okay. Okay. Are you dead? Oh! No, okay. Wait, it's Pichu. He's, he's bad. Wow. Any other character, though, that, that, that probably would have been... Zero to 50 to though. Like, that was clean. Wow, this, this Ice Climbers is clean. <laughs> Yo, I, I'm actually like terrified of when the ice climbers come together and they start Yo, utilizing the all the DC. What? He took seven percent. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Wishes ice climbers. Can we talk about it, Tfly? This was the surprise pick of the tournament that I didn't see coming. And as you can see, like trying to go for the AI partner, I, I think it's Popo in this one. Yeah, it is Popo. Okay, so yeah, yeah that boy's got to go. Oh, and that, uh, the squall is so good, that side beat. Whoa! Okay. Not enough. Maybe, uh, that, that's hard. But the taunt, Harpang took quite a bit of damage, though. That's the thing about uh, Ice Climbers. Oh, wait a minute. You gotta separate them. Okay, and there's the... Divide and the conquer. Loops. Divide and conquer. Can you save it? Yes, Okay, you can. yes. Getting the sink back together, and now forward throw getting put onto one of them. Utilizes that forward throw, or the forward air, onto Wishes. Ooh, but there goes, ooh, man, that uh, that AI is kind of sus, bro. He started out so strong, too. Honestly, I want to see more Ice Climber setups from Wishes. Oh, yeah, right there, Arfang tried to get the up air thunder, not quite working out. But right now, he's racking up quite a bit of uh, damage. Now, both, both Nana and Popo have different percentages when you're hitting them. Yes. Obviously, you can't see the other Climber's percentage, but uh, oh, no. This, okay. oh. yeah, he had. I mean, at that point, are you really gonna beat Arfang's Pichu with Sopo? Like, I, I feel like you have to go for that save. You know what I mean? Was he low enough that he actually would have saved Popo and both of them would have come back, or would have just like thrown oh, the Oh, true wall? that. Yeah, and I, okay, I see what you're saying. Like, it was so low that yeah. you probably wouldn't have saved both climbers. So just try to tough it out with Sopo. Yeah, yeah you yeah, might as well like the roll the Sopo. But hey, you know what? Either way, it was a tough situation and an incredible start. For wishes ending in a a body bag. I mean, honestly, if it was any other character besides the rats, he probably would have lost that stock. Yeah, I, I, Arfang did such a good job of just uh, separating the climbers and going super hard off stage. And Pichu is uh, one of the best edge guarding characters in the entire game. So it looks like looks like wishes is gonna stick it out with this ice climber pick though. Okay, well, you know what? I'm excited to see that explosive start that we saw in game one. I'm hoping we get something similar here on our FD transformation. Okay, there's the squall, there's the desync. He's trying to get, trying to scoop up the grab and maybe offering a little bit more aware of uh, this ice timer output off the grab. So we see him playing a lot more in the air. We see even wishes like opting for the, uh, ooh, the down B desync. Ooh, I like that desync with the charge smash attack. And like, like oh, that's so good. And now that Arfang had a good amount of percent on him, there was no way he was gonna be able to make it back. That was so tight. He, I am loving these desyncs coming out from Wishes. You know, I, like I was saying earlier in game one, I am terrified of when like all the ice climbers actually get together, and we see the real tech coming out from this from the ice climbers duo because they can make magic happen. Oh, yeah, for sure. And just 38% like, like on uh, Nano right now. Finally, Arfang gets an opening. Just kidding. Gets smacked right back out. 124% on his second stock right now. That's right. And Wishes swinging, just trying to save his partner. Popo, get back over there. You are not done yet. Yeah, okay. Going to close it out. And I, I wonder if Wishes is actually controlling the directional air dodge from Popo there and then using, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird because, like, wouldn't you air dodge with the other climber? I'm not 100% how all these G-Syncs work, but, man, is this fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, of course, you can start to see the G-Sync coming out. Popo, whoa! Uh -oh. Right into the hands of those ice climbers. That's uh -oh. not where you want to be. Big damage Dude. coming out from Wishes. Oh, what? Yo, this is sick! This is so hype, dude. Wow. Like, I'm seeing training mode combos from Twitter happening in real life tournament right now. I mean, that's the best place for them to happen, let's be honest. Dude, he's getting the footstools out of up tilt. Man, Wishes Ice Climbers is 
so clean right now. Okay, rocking the solo, solo Nana, getting a couple of hits from... You Who mean, needs a man? All right. Who needs a man? <laughs> Damn. I was going to say, actually, you know, Solo Nana is going to close this out. No, no Popo required. And <laughs> thank you. You know, that I'm sure that's that the embodies face. some of the emotion and reactions that we're seeing in the chat. Yeah, I played Brawl. So <laughs> if this, if climbers get like. All the climbers can do this. That face that Koopa had might definitely gonna be my face. But Korean, the AI is bad. <laughs> you know what? At least, <laughs> at least it's not just like a chain grab. It looks flashier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it I'll, is, I'll it take is fun it. for what to yeah. watch. It's not wobbling. It's not chain grabbing. Yeah. It looks like pure skill and with heavy inputs and splashy. But we're seeing a character change from our thing. I didn't even know this man had a young one. Dang. I, I knew he had like, uh, oh, okay, he's gonna drop that throw there. Oh, but here's the desync. Oh, right into the blizzard. Oh, tried to, tried to get Popo to run up and up tilt there, but kind of got pushed back. Yeah, it looked like the blizzard didn't actually work out in Wish's favor. All right, so Young Link definitely a character that is very, uh, very quick. Definitely a very exploitable recovery. Uh, probably Young Link's biggest weakness. Um, but definitely gonna have the tools to keep the climbers back and have all these projectiles that uh, Young Link can convert off as well. Also having that frame for an air, that's the one thing about Young Link that I feel like is one of his biggest strengths is he's a zoner that when you finally do get in, you gotta deal with an extremely great boxing option oh. being that frame for an air. Yeah, you saw that fire arrow ladder coming in, but you realize it's like a double jump there and drinking a little bit of milk along the way. Drinking the milk on him, make sure you got the calcium there. And just like that, look at this. Another separation so low. Gets the, oh, oh that's unfortunate. No. The AI air dodge right when he upbeat. That, wow. Man, this <laughs> AI is trash. Dude, that was, I, like I said, I don't know if that's the AI or if, it, if it's him controlling it or not. Um, I, I guess it's the AI. Why I'm would gonna, you do that? I'm going to give Wishes the benefit of the doubt. That okay. was the AI. Yeah. Man, and right now, Arfang, uh, very convincing game number three on deck. Gets the hit, and yo, my man is spamming that up B. It's pulled, it sucks in your opponent. Uh, probably going to catch the AI off guard. No way. No way. Okay, okay, okay. Wishes got super unlucky. Like, I never, I never usually say that on the mic, but... He actually got like incredibly unlucky that game. Still, <laughs> solid stuff from Arfang, but damn. Dude, Popo got upbeat, but Nana didn't. Nana got left behind. Oh, come on, man. Damn. Wow. Very that unfortunate. Was so. <laughs> I mean, but you got to take it, right? Yeah, you got to take those. You first. definitely got to take it. But, all right, come do, on. Do you Beast? risk another? Do it. Do it. <laughs> I need to see more ice climbers. Yeah, that it's definitely uh, super fun to watch, but you, it can definitely be frustrating if you're piloting the ice climbers and something like that happens. You know what I mean? All right, so very true, very true. coming into this game number four, of course, Arfang up two to one, and you know what? Maybe Arfang didn't really feel like it was all his young link uh, that that game, or maybe it's a stage pick kind of thing. Maybe he's just super comfortable on uh, battlefield with the Pichu. I think it's more about having like that long Pokemon Stadium field yeah. because he'll be able to utilize fire arrows a little bit better. But now okay. he can utilize the platform as Pichu. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, there's the up tilt oh. and with the tap of the desync as well. Oh, what's the punish? Wow, not quick enough out of shield there. And oh, but Arfang is with that nair. Yeah, okay. Then that ice climber up there is so good. Oh, S smash in the wrong way. It's very unfortunate for Witches because oh. that Popo is gone. Man, she's out of there. But right now, with the solo Nana. So there's Sopo. What is uh, Sona? Nana. No, Sona. 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 Okay. All right, we'll, we'll rock with it. I don't know. That sounds really. I, I, actually, I'm not about it. All right. Well, you know what? We're going to have to come up with a better name later because Witch is just dropping another stock. I mean, our brain's at 98. Okay, there's a grab, and wow. Okay, we don't need to be by the edge. No. We're yeah, just going to squat right smash. into the grab in the charge F smash. Wait a minute, though. I dare you to look at that hammer. Look at the hammer that those two are carrying. That's pure mahogany. Yeah. 
Wait a minute. Popo, get next to Nana, please. <laughs> okay, River, uh, Arfang taking a little bit of extra time getting off the ledge, knowing that uh, Wish is trying to set up his decent. Oh, and that, that is a scary situating situation. Getting your shield side beat by um, a desync and then like, oh, I'm gonna set up a grab. So, so scary. But off stage situation here, no double jump. Up be the ledge. Board smash doesn't connect. That's true, but not able to get too heavy of a punish for a whip uh, F match. Okay, got, got them separated and that is gonna be a forward smash on the Popo. And once again, the solo Nana back in play here. Oh man, you don't have much recovery options. There's I the double jump. I think you only dunk. really got the side B and of course, our bank's gonna be able to cover that, especially with a back air that lasts so long. Yeah, with no double jump, like any solo climber just does not have a lot of options. He's gotta go right into the swap. Oh, grab that, armor. That was so good for our bank. Of course, got that grab armor. We saw the up smash come out, but F smash from the other side of the stage. I should say throw armor, my bad. There's no armor on grab, but the, when you throw, you have armor. Yeah. Okay, the grab, no, just out of range, getting the force smash, setting up this offstage situation, almost catches the high recovery there, but gonna oh. snatch up another climber. Okay, Popo needs you. Oh, okay. No. Just seeing that, like, he already oh, utilized the air dodge, like, uh, Nana wasn't going to be able, in fact, to save Popo, but now Wishes has to do it solo. Yeah, this this is gonna be rough. Offstage, once again, where are you gonna use that double jump? Gonna go up for the squaw. Oh, oh so Maybe he, did, he didn't have the double jump? No, he he burned it already. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I was on the assumption he had double jump. Really, really good edge guarding coming out from Arfan. Gonna close it out. 3 1 against Wishes. Um, not opting to switch to the Joker, even in that situation where you're down 1 2. Uh, just stuck it out with the climbers. I respect it, so. I respect it tremendously, like showing out what not only what ice climbers can do, but what wishes can do with ice climbers. Showing that, you know, these characters can still be a threat. They're still in the game. Because let's be honest, how often do we actually get to see that pair come out in tournament? Not often. Not and played often at that indeed. level where all the Twitter videos you saw, you're like, no one's going to do this in tournament. I don't got to worry about this. But they're evolving.